I have a camera on my head. <laughs> <laughs> camera on the head. Probably look like an idiot. Camera over here. Yeah. Camera on oh, the that counter. One's, that one's dead though. Oh, so it's dead. Yeah, I wish it was working. Well, that's a shame. Well, we need to put the charger on it. I just didn't take the time. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, before we get started, I wanted to mention a few things. Uh, one of our subscribers uh, stopped me the other day, told me he was enjoying watching the channel, and told me he was a subscriber. So, uh, Will Sullivan, I really appreciate that. Thank you for subscribing and please keep watching and uh, try to keep your mom and dad straight. So also I wanted to thank uh, Family Auto and Tire. They're local to us and they uh, helped me out with the tires there on the trailer, uh, we get any any kind of automotive work we need, we get it done there. And I uh, want to thank those guys too. So this week we're installing an awning and doing a few other odds and ends. And uh, I guess if we're, we're, we're calling out companies, we bought our awning from Willie's Camping Center, which is local to us also. And they were super helpful uh, getting that awning for us. It was free freight. I mean, that really helped us out because looking online, it was going to cost a lot to get it shipped here. So if you're in the area, check them out. They're really nice, really helpful. And I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. So we got our stove in. It's a Dometic two burner. Um, so we'll be putting that in today. We have it all laid out. Now I just have to uh, drill some holes to get me started and cut it out. First, I gotta move all this stuff. One thing we've noticed uh, the last time we camped is that we have no way of turning the lights on in the living area without it lighting up the gooseneck area. Not all the way, but in the hallway right beside the gooseneck area. And the kids are sleeping up there. And we really need a way to light up our area so we can make coffee and uh, get breakfast ready, things like that. Just do our thing. So, um, making these little pods to uh, hold the lights, hold these lights, which are the same lights that we used in the uh, rest of the trailer. So anyway, these are super thin, as you can tell. I'll have a link to these down below. They're, they're pretty bright for what they are, for one single light, because I want this piece to sit flush underneath our cabinet. And then the light will be inside of that, of course. And then we'll have to run the wires somewhere, try to conceal those. So 
So the first step to installing our awning on the uh, on our cargo trailer that or any trailer for that matter that doesn't have an existing awning is to install the awning rail. This is the piece that holds the fabric. Got it taped up here. Get up closer, show you what we got. So the actual fabric slides into this hole here, into this slot, slides all the way down. Let's say I'm going to install a screw in like every third hole right now. Then I'm going to take those down and run sealant on the back side of this piece and then reinstall those screws and add the rest. day one of installing the awning. Didn't get all of it done, but uh, it's been a heck of a job. So we got both arms mounted. And yes, it's sticking out. It shouldn't be right now, but this is where, how we get it latched in. There's a door here. This is our other, other arm is in. And this is the uh, carefree altitude on the inside. I have to take this out, take this uh, section of wall out, put a few braces in there. I definitely don't want to zoom in on my terrible welding. So that's where we're at today. Tomorrow hopefully we can get uh, get the wiring in. Hi buddy. Hello. What you doing? <laughs> with terrible pliers. Terrible pliers. But I'm connecting a Bluetooth module. Ooh, Bluetooth. To our awning. Our awning has Bluetooth. Fancy, fancy. Gosh, that you is. You can fancy. control it with your phone. Oh my gosh. One day, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> How has the install been so far? Um, not hard. The outside was intense, but only because you need three people and you need a lot of ladders and you're, you know, you're drilling holes in the side, which I, we had to end up um, welding in new braces to hold the arm on the outside because we didn't have a brace where the arm at the back went so that was a uh, that was tough because I haven't welded in 15 years and there we go can I go outside hold see, on hold on hold on stay there explode or if it works all right moment of truth see if it works Oh, Kablamalam. Alright, automatic. 
All right, let's see. Just press the button once. Okay. Woo! I hope it stops sometime. <laughs> hope it stops like it's supposed to. It's supposed to go too far. Go on and go. And go back up a little bit. So it's doing this all by itself? Oh, yeah. No hands. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm scared. The finger on the off button. I like that dance, buddy. Oh, yeah, that Success! Good work, good work. Awesome! Heck yeah! We have an awning. Check this out. Press this piece head. And you can put it oh. all the way down to rain. Or you can push it up the sky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice. Very cool. So you have to do each side separately? Yeah. You gotta download the Carefree app in order to operate the awning, which makes perfect sense. But I was just trying to connect my Bluetooth to the Bluetooth adapt or Bluetooth connection. Uh, it won't do that just under your settings. So once I downloaded the Carefree app, I went through the setup and it was very easy to set up. So you have this, uh, this is our app, it's connected to the awning, I hit retract, and it comes in. Easy as that. So one thing I didn't try, and uh, the wind's been blowing the last couple days and I've finally been able to get out here and mess with it. Um, this adjustment can be adjusted when the awning is closed, or at least that's what they say. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to slide that up. That should be the lowest setting. I'm going to adjust this side also. Then I'm going to break out the app. I'm going to extend it. Few of the uh, things I was worried about when we when we were going to mount this, I wanted to make sure I mounted this uh, awning high enough up that the door wouldn't interfere. We have a, a four foot door on this trailer, which is really nice. But at the same time, with an awning, I was a little worried about this sharp corner hitting the fabric. And as you can see there, with the awning all the way down, it doesn't. So that worked out. Um, we mounted it as high up as we could on the side until you, you know, right to the bottom of that aluminum rail. This is the highest setting on this side. And it gives you plenty of room. So yeah, there's plenty of room now. So we won't have an, uh, an issue with that hitting. The only thing we do have an issue with is the door hitting the actual awning arm so i'm gonna have to come up with a a chain or a an arm of some sort to uh keep this door from swinging open too far so on the inside this is the switch mounted um it's just you know on and off retract extend pretty simple what I do like about it, it is a one touch system, so you can hit retract one time, look outside, and it's retracting. The Bluetooth module was not something that we, you know, really picked just because we didn't we didn't care one way or another. I have to say I do like it. I uh I've been using the app for the little bit of time I've used it. Um, this button has to be, of course it has to be on in order to use the app. If you guys have any questions about the awning, please uh, feel free to ask. I've never installed anything like that before and it, it really wasn't too bad. There's a whole lot to it and you need to have people to help you.
but uh, overall pretty awesome experience so we have a few cold nights coming up uh, below freezing for a little while so I'm gonna add a few low points to our hot and cold lines so we can drain the system uh, so I have this here with a plug in it because I knew eventually I would run a, a water pump which I do have and I need to run but not right now so I'm gonna put a I'm gonna drill a hole in the floor I'm gonna put this T here run it through the floor into a, uh, a line and then put a valve down below and then I can leave it closed or I can open it up every now and again uh, to drain all the water then I'm gonna do the same for the hot line some hot water line here it's a little harder to get to but uh we'll get it and yeah I'm gonna do the same thing there passport no no return baby on the summer night shot of love and a spark of love to be Starts the line and the month I'm not burn like the ground I leave. I will leave it on the next train, baby. I do believe. Come on, let's ride this train. Come on, let's ride this train. So I have my low point lines in, going through the floor there for the hot water. Going through the floor here for the cold water. Have this valve in, and this is running to the water pump. So my water pump is in. Uh, not going anywhere yet. So when I want to pull from the tanks, I'll just come in here, open this valve. And that should push water in to. Uh, everything inside the camper all right so i got the light pods in and i added a switch here there's still a mess i didn't clean up yet so anyway this switch controls the lights and this switch controls the water pump i'll turn the lights on and it gives uh, a lot of light right where we'll be cooking so that's going to be nice. And then what we really wanted, turn the main lights off. So that lights up our kitchen and it lights up this area that we'll be sitting in. So that should really help us out in the mornings. So you saw me building this earlier. Uh, this is just going to be storage for the kids area up in the gooseneck. Uh, we build it just like those box basket holder things that you get from uh, Target or Walmart. Anyway, it's made to hold baskets. And I guess we'll put our clothes in there. I hope so anyway. Uh, so it's going to get painted up and installed. Okay, thanks for uh, watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we're really getting those subscribers going now, and I really appreciate all of you who have subscribed. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so, if you will. Uh, we'd really appreciate it. It really helps our channel grow and uh, really gives us motivation to cre create better videos and more videos. So I uh, hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving, and hope you'll join us next time. Thanks a lot.